Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, it's actually late Sunday and I don't normally do a video like this on a Sunday, but we have had two calls today, uh, they're almost identical. Families that have adult sons and in both instances, the sons attacked the father. And in both instances, the father was injured. And in both instances, the son ended up in jail. And uh, just a, really a bit in shock, having lost my own father seven years ago, uh, really should have touched me uh, to think that a son could put his hands on on his father. Um, but in one of the instances, the I mean, the son, uh, both these sons are very, very sick. They're in their mid mid to late mid to late thirties. Um, in one of the instances, the family um, is going to is going to therapy, and they're going to therapy so they can learn to. Um, to learn to cope with their son's disease while the son basically runs wild. Um, the other son um, has been in treatment but never stays long enough and won't take his medications. Um, the other son uh, who just attacked his father this evening, um, he's never taking med medications. And I, I said to both families, I mean, really it was a very similar conversation. I said, look, um, is, is either one you know is is your son willing to go to treatment no he doesn't want to go um is he willing to take his meds no he doesn't like the side effects and i said well if he's not going to make the decision to go to treatment who's going to make it and you know in one instance the mother said to me well this is a very serious decision you know we're talking about you you're, you're asking us to potentially consider finding the guardianship i said i am and she said, well, you know, we would need to discuss this with our therapist because we've been seeing a therapist who is helping us, you know, to cope with our, you know, our son's behavior. And, and I didn't want to say this because I could tell the mother was getting upset. But in my head, I'm thinking, you're seeing a therapist, but he's not doing anything to help him with his recovery. And you're not doing anything to help him with his recovery. In other words, what I was thinking was, you're trying to justify his behavior because he's sick by seeing a therapist yourself. And I'm thinking, this just doesn't seem, something isn't quite right here. Things are a little backwards. It's not the parents that need the therapy, although they may need some therapy at some point so they can heal, but it's the son. He needs to go to treatment and he needs to be taking medication at some point uh, if he cannot be stabilized, because clearly, you know, uh, any man that picks up his, hands to his father, I mean, there's something seriously going wrong. And here's what's going to happen um, in, in my experience. And I told you, you know, I was prosecutor for a long time. I did defense work for a long time. This is once once somebody picks up their hands to a loved one, it typically happens again, except the second time around, it's going to be considerably worse. It's going to be more violent. There's going to be more injuries. There's going to be um, more punishment by the state. And I told you that if as a family, you don't deal with this, if you don't get your loved ones to treatment and they don't end up dead, the state takes them and they can take them one of two ways through the mental health system, right? The Baker Act process or the criminal justice system. And in both these instances, the state has now taken custody of these young men. They're both charged with felonies and they could both go to the state department of corrections, even if it's a first offense, because first offense, because we have the punishment code here in Florida. That means the judge can max you out as a first time offender right out of the gate. And if you get in front of the wrong judge who doesn't take kindly to young men shoving their fathers, you'll end up in, you know, your the sons will end up in prison. Uh, and so I wanted to share this with you and I, I get it. You know, as parents, um, you know, when you see your adult child pick up his hands to your spouse, I'm sure it, it has to be devastating. But as I told the mother, both mothers actually, look, I come from a place of love, but I'm going to be honest with you. You know, and if you don't want honesty, then I'm probably not the right lawyer for you. But you know, from all my other videos, I'll always be honest with you, even at the risk of offending you. Um, I said, you you got to get him into treatment. You got to keep him there. You got to get him to take his meds, and you're going to need to do far for guardianship to get control of the situation because right now it's out of control. And if you don't do it, um, this is going to get worse. But you already know that because this has been going on for years and years and years, and it's gone unchecked. So. You know, this is the deal. This is this is the power of the guardianship. But at the end of the day, the parents have to make the decision to save their child. And I know I've been pretty vocal about that, especially in the last week or two. As a family, you have to make the decision to save your loved one. Because if you don't, they'll either end up dead 
or the state will do it for you. And you will not like the consequences of the state doing it for you. I promise you. Nobody gets better in jail. Nobody gets better in a state mental hospital. So anyway, with that said, I appreciate you tuning in. And I will see you um, probably tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye-bye.